Okay, we've seen the mass spec but now we're downstairs in the um, RMIT in our facility. Uh, this is our workforce 300 megahertz in the mass spectrometer. I use this a lot for my work in uh, metabolomics uh, and also some of my work in environmental science. So we do NMR based finger pissing, um, things like this. Uh, and I'm also using this um, to show a multi channel probe on being a fluorinated compound in the environment, so whether we pick them up by our NMR as opposed to uh, mass spec. Um, I actually helped write some of the guidelines for environmental metabolomics based on some of my NMR work, and I've won awards for NMR spectroscopy and metabolomics. So I, I really enjoy NMR, and that's something I'm sort of doing a lot of in the feeder. Those are two lab areas. Let's go and have a look at electron theatres. Okay, I know I said we're going through the left theatre, but I couldn't resist showing you one more lab. This is an area I've started to spend more time in recently. It's our Raman spectroscopy lab. This is our top of the range Hariba Raman, and we have a lot of groups at RMIT using this for net particle work. Um, I'm using it for service enhanced Raman uh, of pollutants in the environment. So, again, what we would have done with mass spec chromatography we're trying to do with Raman and uh, nanoparticles to increase the signal for Raman. We're having a lot of success with pharmaceuticals in the environment at the moment and we're hoping to move on to uh, fluorinated compounds soon. Okay, well we've seen the lab. Uh, now here, uh, the other area I spend a lot of time at RMIT was one of the lecture theatres here. Okay, come back, Mac. Uh, now we're out of semester at the moment, which is why all the seats are empty, but usually we have uh, lots of keen young people looking to learn chemistry. And one of my main part of my role, and something I really enjoy, is engaging with the students uh, and helping inspire the next generation of chemists, hopefully. Um, now I would normally use lecture materials, standard lectures, but I'm also keen on engaging with young people in new ways, so with different technologies. So one thing I'm working on recently is 3D printing. So these nice models of enzymes and with biochemistry lectures. And with some of the PhD students, I've been working on 3D printing for chromatograms. So that's a three dimensional chromatogram. Um, and fresh off the printing press, so to speak, is a 2D NMR printed in 3D so we can see the nice cross beams. And again, this is new technology for teaching. Um, with some of my colleagues at RMIT, I've also developed a, a game. So this is called Chirality 2, which you can get on um, Apple and Android. It has six levels and teaches you chemistry while you're also having fun. So if you've got a spare few minutes on the train, uh, I encourage you to download that uh, and have a play with it. Okay. Uh, well, that's about it for me. Uh, thank you for listening, and hopefully I'll see you at RMIT at some point soon.